Welcome to a video from the DigitalLife.com, new Windows 11 build to look at. This is 22509 for Windows Insiders on the Dev Channel. And there's a couple of interesting changes with this. Uh, in the blog post, Microsoft talk about Narrator and Microsoft Edge improvements. I'll, I'll leave the details of that in a link with this uh, video. I'm going to look at some of the UI changes. Um, one of them is something that a lot of people have asked for, is some changes to, or some customization options to the Start menu. Um, in particular, you've got this uh, more pin. You've got this section here where it's recommended. So let me show you the new setting. And here you see you've got the default, but I can have more pins. So that shrinks the recommended section and shows more pinned out, which is probably what I would I would use. Or you can have more recommendations, which does the opposite, increases the recommendation section, and shrinks the the pin section. So you can do whichever works for you. So I think that's great that they've, they've, they've added that at last. Another feature, I can't show this because it's a dual monitor feature, but uh, worth mentioning, is on dual monitors, the uh, when you've got a taskbar on the uh, second display, you get the clock on there. So uh, now currently that's just rolling out, so it's not appearing on my device. But yeah, you'll get the clock. So a lot of people have asked for that as well. Another change is in the notifications they um they now stack up when they're set as priority um the same priority so if you get three high priority no notifications they'll stack up on there they've moved some things from um control panel to settings so let's have a look so here we've got a new section advanced network settings and here they've moved some of the uh, the things that weren't here before, so they were in control panel, they're now in here. They're still in control panel, but they've moved them into there. So we've got um, advanced network settings on there. And we can change some settings on there like that. So so they've moved those around, which makes it makes more sense. Another change is with airplane mode. It remembers what you switch on and off. So if you switch off um, Wi-Fi, but leave Bluetooth on, it'll remember that the next time you put it into uh, airplane mode so that your headphones continue to work. There's quite a lot of fixes in this build. The um, If you're on the 125% screen screen scaling, you don't get large icons down here at the bottom. I'm not, I'm 100%, but a few people have seen that, which is which is good. I think that's in the release builds as well. Um, they've When you press the Windows key and the number um, on a, a number so if I press Windows what is it four and it'll show the task manager um, like that it cycles through the windows rather than just stopping so if you've got four windows open you press uh, Windows key and the number it will go through all of them maybe I can show you Windows 3 and you see it flicks between them like that Rather than just sticking on them before as they were before, I just showing stopping on the last one. And there's some there's a lot of fixes around the start menu, some minor tweaks. So they fix the issue going green screen crashing or blue screen crashing when you get the uh, when you're upgrading the builds, and they fix some issues where you couldn't uninstall the build and you got a zero eight a zero x eight error. So they've done some, quite a bit of work on that, and they fix some issues with the Wi-Fi not. Um, not resuming after sleep so those are the the changes i think the start menu changes are probably the uh, the most beneficial I, I use the recommended section so i'm not sure which mode i have but i do use the pin probably more so i'll probably leave it on that so those are some of the changes we build 22509 uh, you can find out more on the digitallifestyle.com i've got all the blog posts with all the details and uh, you can find me on twitter at istixon